Welcome back everybody to a nearly summer at the Rim Workshop. Let's get cracking. It's time for another project. Right, the first step to any good restoration is a damn good clean. The second step to the restoration is to disassemble and mark. So this particular job requires uh, a lot of work on these drawer fronts, so I will attack them first. Now marking the drawers is very important. This is just a little bit of professionalism. Remind yourself which drawer came out of which hole. So easy. Okay. Now I've got to grab my tools and start removing the hardware and the drawer handles from the drawer fronts. They're going to be completely disassembled. So once I've removed all of the hardware, it's time to knock off the drawer handles and I use my lava llama for this. It's my best friend when it comes to loosening up glue. I love my lava llama. So that loosens up the glue, then you get your thump hammer out and go knock, 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 knock. Pop. So another smart thing to do is mark each handle with its corresponding drawer front. And I like to use a little screwdriver because it puts a small deep mark in. So if you do sand over the top, you don't lose your mark. So simple. All of these drawers were put together with uh, dovetails. And dovetails are fantastic, but they are a real bastard to take apart. Because they will, if you knock them apart and the glue is dry, you'll probably rip some of the dovetails out. So once again, get out the lava llama and start steaming. Time to knock apart these drawers and to do this I'm using my trusty dead blow hammer. Do not use a rubber mallet. I'll say that again, do not use a rubber mallet. It will likely crack and break the things that you're trying to knock apart. So get yourself one of these. They are fantastic. You will not regret it. So repeat this eight times. There's always one. That's my rule of restoration. You can have... <laughs> Everything can be easy, right up to the one thing that's going to make life very difficult, and this drawer here is a bit of an ugly one. So somebody had a go at gluing it with the wrong glue and using nails to keep it together. I've got a bit of an archaeological dig here. What you do is you make yourself a little bit of space around the head of the nail, and then you can use the tip of a very good quality side cutter just to whip it out. That was too easy. Now this nail needs a little bit more work. It's about two inches long and it's like popping a cyst. It just keeps coming. Stuck in a broken place Knowing I made mistakes Knowing there's something higher It's stripping time, baby. I like to use a scraper. If I use the sander, you run the risk of it uh, wobbling and rolling the edge. Now 
Now I was super lucky here, the roller and the belt sander fit the geometry of the door handles perfectly. So I just used this tool to strip 8 times draw handles and it was easy and quick. Couldn't ask for anything more. Rinse and repeat 8 times. A little bit of scraping and sanding and what a huge difference. Right, it's draw assembly time. I swapped out the heavy impact driver for the light hand screwdriver. Time for glue. Just got a good quality PVA wood glue here. I use my brush to spread it around inside the hole, make sure every surface has contact. piece back together, use some clamps, rinse and repeat times eight and let them all sit overnight. It is a stunning winter's morning in Turangi, New Zealand. An absolutely beautiful day. And with today comes my next task. This desk is going to be used in the home office of my client and she wants me to create a custom pull-out keyboard shelf. Not a hard thing to figure out, just got to get a couple of measurements. That little curved part that I just pulled out of the desk is going to be used as the front of the shelf as well. I've got a nice piece of recycled white oak, which is the same as what the desk is made out of. I will use my absolute favourite tool, which is the spiral head jointer. This thing removes material and leaves an amazing finish. Get yourself one if you've got the money. Seriously, they're amazing. Okay, nothing fancy here, just a couple of pocket holes. This is going to attach the front of the shelf to the actual shelf itself. And then test fit. And I'm pretty happy with that. So let's move on to removing the top and finishing it off. I've got to create some rails. And those rails are going to be made out of oak as well. Like I said, it's just a simple... Simple shelf, it doesn't need anything fancy. Voila. So the rails have been cut, I've marked where they have to be screwed in and attached to the desk. Just doing that all now and I'll, I'll run my final test fit to see how it slides and how it looks. And I'm pretty damn happy with that. Very happy with that. That's nice. So I'm happy with where the shelf is. Now it's time to strip it. Plug the existing screw holes with some oak plugs and screw and glue it together. Next part of this restoration is disassembling the roll cab top. While doing this, I ascertained, it's a great word there, I figured out how old this piece actually is. So there's a piece of advertising underneath the tambour door. And that leads me to believe this piece is around 1920s, 1930s. So that Lux advertisement there is an English brand. And that was advertised only throughout 1925-26 to 1935-36. So that locks down the date pretty nicely. It's 
so the next stage is sanding and scraping and scraping and sanding so this part mm, yeah this this really had me racking my brain here this cabinet has about three sets of overhangs which my tools can't get into when I'm stripping and sanding it leaves a shadow where the pieces join of old finish and I don't like that so I decided you know screw it I'm just gonna knock the whole thing apart and lay everything flat and then strip it that way it allows me to get to every surface and do a really good job so well that's what, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do it makes the job a lot longer and slap on a sanding disc and get stripping As soon as that's done, it's time to glue it all back together. I've decided to screw the entire cab back together while it's resting and gluing because I do not want it to glue out of shape or be twisted or skewed so that's going to sit overnight it's spray day people Here we go, day four, assembly day. It's one of the most exciting parts of completing a project like this. This is when all the hard work comes together. Now I have to be very careful in this process that I don't scratch or damage anything. So it is a little bit nerve wracking, but it's also very exciting. So assembly is disassembly in reverse, very simple. It's not hard, I already know how to put it together because I took it apart. Uh, there are two more jobs that need to happen before I can call this done and one is add felt to the side of the tambour door so I can avoid the scratching on the sides here. I've also got to polish up the brass bits and pieces so that's the key and lock fascias. Assembly montage, let's go.
That is right to two. It's locked and going nowhere. Left three. Left three and going nowhere. Done. <laughs>